Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your astro, tarot, and intuitive forecast for the week of May 6, 2019. As I'm looking at the cards and as I'm looking at the chart, I can't totally tell if this is a week that is going to bring in a lot of passion and ignite you and ignite your emotions in a way that feels constructive and positive towards you or if it's going to be something that's a little bit more challenging. It definitely depends on your chart and what's going on in your life. But before I dive into the details and the specifics of this, I do want to say that I am getting this vibe of everyone stepping into a space where they are speaking out, they are speaking up, they are being forward, they are delegating, they are asking for help, but not in a way that shows that they're weak, but it's, it's like kind of sprinkling the responsibilities around so that you're not the only one that's taking on the burden of everything and that everyone is carrying their equal weight. I don't know if you've been feeling this already, but there are a few things that have kind of been working or in the works in the cosmos. And the first thing is the fact that last week we did have that new moon in Taurus. Now Taurus is ruled by Earth and Earth is connected to materialization. It's connected to grounding and abundance and security. Taurus is also connected to Venus. So this is about beauty, luxury, lifestyle, and an ability to kind of reap the rewards. If there is a sign that wants to be able to give to you in a way that is abundant and wants you to work in a way that allows you to receive that abundance, it is Taurus. Capricorn is another one of those, but Capricorn is more hyper-focused on the hard work aspect versus Taurus is all about kind of enjoying the moment and enjoying the process. And it also takes a little bit more breaks than Capricorn versus Capricorn will kind of break its back. Taurus will want to take a break. That's kind of what I'm seeing for this week is our focus is on, you know, building things that will last, that, that have longevity to them. But also it's about things that we want in our lives that the commitment, the burden, the responsibility of it is something that is beautiful and that serves us in a way that we can really enjoy and reap the reward of it in a way that feels luxurious and feels comfort comforting to us. So for a lot of you guys, this actually has to do with the root chakra and your ability to receive abundance, your ability to, um, to gather money and resources, and then also your ability to spend that, what is most important to you. And then also having the time and the structure to make time for yourself so that it's not always work, 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 or play, 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 so that there is some type of balance that is happening here within your life. Now, in order for that to happen, you really have to know your boundaries. You have to know where you stand, where others stand, and delegate and delegate and kind of spread spread that work and the responsibility out to others so that's not just you carrying on that weight and that burden all by yourselves. If you guys have seen the Ten of Wands within the tarot card, it's this person who's carrying all of this weight on their shoulder, all of this weight on their back, and they're carrying it to the finish line. Can they do it? Of course they can. But should they be doing it? Probably not because the stress of that is too much. Now one thing that I do want to say is that as I'm looking at the cards, I'm seeing a lot of energy around the heart chakra. And there's two reasons for that. Number one, I'm seeing that you are, value, you are valuing and prioritizing the things that is that you care about the most. That could be your work, that could be your passion, that could be your children, your family, or all of the above. Fill in the blank of whatever it is that that means for you. The other thing is that sometimes those same things that it is that you love can be the same things that give you the most stress and the most burden, and those things will wear down at the health and the vitality of the heart. And that's why it's very, very important for you to not take on the burden of this all by yourself. I want to show you guys the cards that I pulled for this week ahead, and there's a bunch. There's a bunch that I pulled. But I do want to show you that we have the Queen of Wands showing the overall energy of this week. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we also have the Six of Wands. Now, Wands in general, and for, for those of you guys that are part of my Sacred Circle Tarot School, you know this because I teach this a lot, with fire and wands connecting to this fire energy, where this is your passion, your excitement, your ability to kind of spark a new project, spark new desire, to be optimistic, to take that bold risk. Now I do see that energy happening here, but I'm also seeing that that fire, that passion, be funneled into a, a way that is constructive, that is building the foundation for the future. Now when you look at the Four of Pentacles, and when you look at the Ace of Pentacles, 
The Ace of Pentacles is about, you know, that first seed of intention, that first start to financial security and commitment and responsibility in a way that'll pay off for, for your future and, and hopefully the generations to come. And then also the Four of Pentacles is about you kind of staying in a space where you're able to reap the reward of that and just kind of feel safe and secure within that. Now, I'm seeing that your passions and your this project or this thing that is igniting your passion because there's a lot of that sprinkled within our our reading for this week ahead with the heart and this passion project and this fire that's getting ignited. You know, you really want to like channel that energy in a way that is funneled and focused and good because it's really quick for this to get derailed. It's really quick for this energy to get frazzled. And I'll show you as we move um, forward that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend look different each each um, each week. The one thing that I will say is that with the Queen of Wands and with the cards for this week, there should be no forcing. Now the Queen of Wands is very, very passionate and she's very assertive, she's very dominant, and she takes control and she takes charge. But as you guys learned when you look at the tarot card within the strength card within the tarot, it's not all about forcing your will as much as it is about working with the energy around you and knowing when to push, knowing when to fall back and allowing things to kind of manifest. And I'm seeing for many of you guys, you have either called it out into the universe, what it is that you want to, what it is that you're wishing to um, receive when it comes to abund abundance and prosperity. And I'm seeing that kind of trickle I'm seeing that trickle into the rest of this week. For the start of this week, Monday through Wednesday, I want to kind of encourage you to stay hyper-focused on what it is that you see ultimately for the greater picture. In order to do this, I want you to take a step back and look at the areas of your life that excite you, look at the areas of your life that are challenging you, and then look at the areas of your life that are just like total problem areas that they almost need to get nipped in the bud and taken out with the trash. There's two reasons why I'm seeing that. Number one, Mercury, the planet of communication, and the way that we think, the way that we use our minds, is moving through the sign of Taurus. And Taurus is all about progress. Slow and steady wins the race, and building up, and moving forward with, again, creating this earth energy element. So materialization, abundance, prosperity, and the reward of that, reaping the reward of that. This is physical, tangible, and it's also very practical. So you wanna take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Now with bold eyes, again, you wanna look at the areas of your life that excite you and that you want to see grow even further. And then you wanna look at those challenges and see, okay, this is weak, this needs to be adjusted, this is what's giving me problems, these are my own personal problems, areas and my weak areas and we're going to tweak them the areas that just don't seem to grow or not prosperous in any way shape or form those are the things that need to get nipped in the bud doing this is going to help you to open into a space where you know exactly what you need to give your energy to in order to help it to grow and what you need to completely nix and get rid of in order to focus your energy so that you're not distracted by dead end things dead end people dead end opportunities that aren't going anywhere also realize that even though we just had the new moon and the new moon is all about planting seeds and starting this new you know this new journey and this new next level in your life even as you're starting newness there's some things that you are having to say goodbye to so I'm seeing that energy as well but you being able to clear your plate of those dead end areas or dead end relationships is going to allow you to focus on what is growing and what does excite you and what does have your attention right now. The other thing that I'm seeing with this is knowing your worth and knowing your value and then you making decisions based upon that, knowing fully well that this opportunity or this excitement or this passion project is there for you for a reason and if you give it the chance and the opportunity because you believe in yourself enough, you give it the chance to start, to live, to grow, to build. And that's what I want to see for all of you guys, and that's what the Cosmos are trying to give to you right now. Again, this isn't something that needs to be forced. You cannot force abundance into your life in any way, shape, or form, whether it come from money or whether it come relationships or whatever. In fact, if you almost watch how energy works, if you ever find yourself chasing after something, it's going to run away from you. Let's say if you're chasing after your clients or if you're chasing after new people that is that you want to work with. There's, there comes a point where you're assertive and you tell them, 
them, look, this is what I have and this is what's available to the point where it's like, please buy from me, please shop, give, you, give me your money, give me the, like that type of stuff. People are so repulsed by that for a good reason because it's almost very desperate. If you know your worth and you know your value and you have put in a lot of effort or the best effort and quality into what it is that you're doing, then the right people will come to you and that is same for your business as it is with your relationships or any relationship, intimate, platonic, family, whatever. You don't need to force or convince anybody of your worth. You just need to know that for yourself. Again, for the first start of this week, from Monday until Wednesday, I'm seeing so many of us, and I really encourage us to kind of take a step back, look at the bigger picture, not push your weight down on anybody, not push your weight down on anything, but see what needs to be adjusted, what needs to be tailored in order to match your ultimate goal. That, again, is what's going to help you to attract and bring in more abundance into your life in all, in all forms. So Monday, Monday is the day where Mercury moves to the sign of Taurus and I already explained that for the most part in the earlier portion of this video it's on Tuesday where Venus ruling Taurus where the energy is really kind of hyper focused right now Venus squares off with Saturn who is currently retrograde now Saturn is a planet of restriction commitment and responsibility and lessons Saturn is now recently retrograde Saturn has just recently turned retrograde. So the lessons that he's presenting during this time are really kind of challenging your foundation. So there are some things, again, that I want you guys to be open to staying really flexible with. Now, I feel like some of you guys are figuring out by now that when I say to you to stay flexible, it is because the universe is presenting some challenges. So instead of you staying rigid and being locked in your ways, you staying flexible allows you to kind of flow with this so you don't become squashed by it. And Saturn really does carry a heavy weight to it. So I want you guys to be aware. Saturn wants you to grow. Saturn wants you to mature. So at least until September, Saturn is reworking all of the structures that have been set in, in place in cement into your life now that don't serve you so that you can have a firm foundation for you to receive this material abundance. There are so many cards for this week that are hyper-focusing on your money, your resources, and on the things that really provide value to you from your heart, from your heart space. Again, if it doesn't serve you or if the universe says, look, this isn't working or you need a better team around you or you need to you know, be more organized, you need to be more put together, you need to be more assertive, more dominant, you need to know what it is that you want, you need to delegate and tell others what it is that you want, stop taking on everything by yourself, ask them for help, that's what they're there for. So the, all of those lessons, whatever Saturn is currently telling you, on Tuesday and Wednesday, you're really gonna start to see those relationships kind of get strained and broken down and that, again, that could be for good or, I don't wanna say good or bad because everything happens for a reason, but the one thing that you don't wanna do is push your weight and force anything because it will break those relationships all by themselves, but maybe that's what needs to happen. To go back to Monday, I really want to encourage you guys to ground yourself. The King of Pentacles is here, the card of Get Grounded, the Four of Swords is here, the Page of Swords. Also, there's this kind of conflict that's been going on within your head or in your brain. The words that you say, how you speak, they tend to have have a sharp razor to them. I'm really seeing that you want to be careful about, you know, if you have anxiety, if you have stress, if you have tension, try not to project that onto other people. It almost seems like you kind of have to put on a brave face and pretend like things are a little bit better than what they are so that you're not offending anybody or hurting anybody. Now, I don't want you guys to fake your funk, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want you guys to pretend like you're, you're happy when you're not but it almost seems like by grounding yourself and centering yourself, you'll come to a better resolution than you just keeping everything bottled in your head. The next thing is that when you do ground yourself and center yourself, and again, this is Four of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Pentacles, and Page of Swords, and also Ten of Pentacles, when you do ground yourself, this is going to help you to connect to that high priestess, to connect to that higher level of intuition, that guidance that is helping to show you and help helping to shape you into a better person, into a better business partner, into a better partner in general, and into actually connecting to your destiny and connecting to your purpose. When you ground yourself, you step back into your skin. You're not getting caught all up in your head anymore. You're not you know, all, all up in the headspace and all up in the cosmos. You're here on Earth as a human being, which is how you came into this Earth as a human being, especially if you're watching this video now. So when you ground yourself, you are centering yourself and you are, you are 
giving yourself a chance to see with your third eye vision what it is that you need to do next. And then you can see how things are certainly connected um, with each other. When we start Monday, we're looking so much on abundance and security. There needs to be some firmness that comes here and some um, you need to take yourself seriously and you need to make sure that people around you are taking you seriously. And this is again where there can be like an argument and a power struggle because not everybody seems to be on the same, same wavelength. And we'll talk about that as we move forward. Mercury moving through the sign of Taurus, you're very much like, this is what I want, this is what I'm going, this is what I want to manifest. And if you're not with me, then what the hell are you doing? Why are you here? It's not that you, it's not that you need to like push on that or cancel any plans out. I'm really seeing you get grounded and get centered and stay high hyper focus even though there's a lot of distraction around you and create again um, a visual like a visual plan a plan of action for what's to come and I'm also seeing you guys connect against that larger picture that greater picture by grounding yourself but at least until Wednesday and you know um, intuitively pulling in those images a lot of abundance here there's a lot of creativity a lot of people spinning like almost like a web for from their intuition of what they see for themselves and their future and this is again why the king of pentacles is here because he wants you to take yourself very seriously if you take yourself seriously others will take you seriously i'm seeing for many of you guys too you know getting out into nature going out and having fun being creative getting inspired and connecting to your passion projects in order to help them to grow your future tuesday is the day that i want you guys to definitely put a star next to and this is because Venus is going to be squaring off with Saturn and there's a few things here that it's almost like look you really want to connect with your intuition like this is another reason why I'm like ground yourself center yourself and look at the bigger picture at the same time meaning like the, the bigger picture of what it is that you want for yourself what is that you see for yourself and what is that you visualize at the same time on Tuesday there's a straining of relationships there's a straining on your finances and your wealth and your security because Venus and Saturn are going to be squaring off. Now, it's going to be exact that day, but we're going to feel it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and a little bit into the weekend. So it strains a lot of our relationships. It puts a pressure on you. Basically, what the universe is saying now, what the cosmos are sh showing is that there's a lot of things that you're intuitively picking up on. It's not always logical. It's not always in your face. It doesn't always make sense. It's not always something that you see. It's sometimes it's something that it is that you feel. So with this, on Tuesday and Wednesday, I really want to see you kind of cloak yourself and surround yourself in light energy before you start your day. I, I do want you to pay attention to energy of anger and retaliate, retaliation and people's bite. And sometimes that could be your bite. Pay attention to what people are saying and pay attention to what they're not saying. Pay attention to how they say it. Pay attention to the way that they say it. Don't look for problems, but listen to, listen and listen to them, but also listen to your intuition because it definitely seems like something's a little off. This is gonna bleed into Wednesday as the sun is trying Neptune, creating a little bit of an element of illusion and you know etherealness. Like even as I am talking about this, I have the moon card here showing that not everything is as it seems. Mercury ruling communication is gonna sit directly on top of Uranus. So something kind of pops up and surprises you and throws you off guard. When Venus and Saturn are squaring off with each other, it's just the pressure of it has amounted to this. The pressure of this amounted to this moment. This is a conversation that you need to have. These are words that you need to hear. There might be some things that provoke anger, but again, I'm seeing you looking at the finer details and looking at how you can fix it. I don't see this as a situation that could be negative, in the way that it breaks down everything that is that you work so hard to build. In fact, it almost seems like this conflict resolution thing helps to build the rest of your future, but you just need to know how to hold yourself accordingly and stay in that space of power and independence and direction and motivation. There's a possibility that's gonna come from family because there's a few cards here that are suggesting that it comes from family, but it could be people who feel like family or people that you want to build a family with or that you want or that you could see the potential there for them having a really important position and role within your life your entire life just be really careful on tuesday and wednesday and thursday be mindful of the energy that that's around you surround yourself in love and light if you do see something pop off 
don't let it derail you don't let it make you get so disappointed that you can't see into the future because again nothing is as it seems there's a lot of stuff that can still be built from this and created from this but pay attention to what they're not saying pay attention to what they're saying pay attention to your own vibrations if you have chills going up your spine or something doesn't feel right or something feels off it totally is so on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I want to see you again surround yourself in protection and this barrier this spirit burial this this spiritual barrier around you that is protecting you from getting to totally disrailed or having negative circumstances kind of try to work to defeat you at this moment in time especially when your relationships and your money is getting tested and stretched thin you want to make sure that the universe is working with you by you calling it in remember we said that in the beginning of this uh, beginning of this video by you calling it in versus you becoming a victim of it so the next day that i want to talk about is wednesday and it's so funny to me because as I'm looking at the cards and as I'm looking at the chart, what I would see as a conflict or what I would see as a problem or what could be seen as a problem, to me, it actually inspires me. Now, I don't know what that's going to look like for me in my personal life or what that's going to look like for you in your personal life. But really what I'm seeing is a new door that gets opened based upon the challenges that have been happening up until this point, especially on Wednesday. I'm seeing so many of you guys stepping into a space of power and part of you, half of you are gonna feel like you're almost forced into it. It's almost like that person that's like, I always have to be the bigger person. I always have to be the one to start the conversation. I always be, have to be the one to do this. Or the other part of you is just like you some of you guys are really feeling empowered and it doesn't feel so much like a burden as it is for the first set of people that I was just mentioning but either way it's the universe really kind of showing you that you definitely do have what it takes and you kind of have to delegate Wednesday is the day where you are totally delegating Wednesday is the day where you're like look this is a team effort it can't just just be me doing this all of the time this is my boundary this is where I draw the line and if you can't do this then I'm gonna have to move forward I'm gonna have to ask someone else to do it and I know that you're capable of it but if you can't do this then someone else has to do it it's not for you again to carry on the weight and the burden of everything all of the time and this week is about you making space for your own rest for your own recuperation for your own vitality and that is a part of you cleansing and transforming sometimes transforming and cleansing doesn't come with you throwing everything away as much as it is like kind of tossing out old things that you normally would only do by yourself. And that's why I see this as so empowering because as a queen and as a king, it's not that you're, you know, this you stepping into this kingdomhood or this queendomhood is, you know, you doing more because you're so strong. It's taking off so much of what you have been carrying so that you don't have to carry it. And that's why it's so cleansing. That's why it's so transformative. And that to me, that's why this is so exciting. So other people really need to listen to you and they really need to hear you and you also need to hear them. What is it that they can take on? What is it that they're able to take on? This is not you forcing and dominating others because that's not what the queen does. That's not what the king does. People have to respect the king and the queen because the king and the queen have what's in everyone's best interest. So when I say that this is how things should go, it's for everyone's best interest. So work with me, not against me. And you have more to gain by working with me than working against me. That is the magic of the strength card. And that's what we're seeing at the center and the, the midpoint of this week on Wednesday. So I'm really seeing a lot here going on. And for those of you guys that need help with speaking up, and protecting your heart because again Wednesday is the center of your heart Wednesday is the center of the week but Wednesday is the center of your heart just remember that what you're doing is you're protecting treasure and treasure is yourself treasure is your relationship it's what it is that's most important to you now again Taurus energy is so strong here all week and this is because we have a lot of emphasis on Taurus with the Taurus new moon and then also with the fact that the Sun is moving through the sign of Taurus but Taurus naturally within the astrology chart it rules the things that it is that we value and what we find most important and for some people that is security and finances and wealth and others it's the ability to enjoy a really good life and you can't do that if you're constantly fighting and forcing things and have trying to get and gain all of these little aspects all these dancing pieces together like you're constantly chasing after all of these things that can't be good for your brain that can't be good for your physical body so this is all about you stepping back into that space of power you calling the shots you even if you are in a position where you work for somebody 
this is you telling your boss like look I have enough on my plate Joanne I can't take on that it's not that I don't want to but I will be better and I will do better if I'm allowed and if you give me the space to focus on this and when I'm done I'll, I'll do that for you so you decide which one is most important to you when you decide that's what it is that I'm gonna focus on so do you see how it's like even though she your boss is saying this is just an example but even though she's saying like I need you to do this this and this it's like you actually get take your power back by saying that's not realistic but what i can do is i can focus on one so you decide which is most important and that's what you can expect to get done in a way that is superior in a way that is excellent so that way i can give to you the best and then i'll move on to number two unless there's something else more important that comes down the line so this is you not being like no girl don't you see my debt it's not you popping off and getting yourself fired, it's more about, okay, respect me, respect my boundaries, this is what I can do, this is how I can do it, and this is what you can expect. Now, again, you putting your boundaries down, sometimes some people are not gonna vibe well with it. They're, they're probably, some people are not used to it. This is you cleansing out the old, this is you stepping into a space that is more healthy, and more abundant, and more thriving to you, and it will pay off in the long haul. Now, on Thursday, Thursday is where I'm seeing creativity, contentment, peace, wellness. I'm seeing a lot of fun, a lot of play. For some of you guys, I'm seeing this as music or things that feel very Neptune energy. So art, love, spirituality, um, musical expression, listening to music, and just kind of disconnecting and removing yourself away from the heaviness that happened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And Thursday, it's a little bit more light as we move into the weekend. I'm seeing you kind of talking about things a little bit more, expressing yourself, expressing your gratitude, entering into a space of peace and being colorful, pouring your heart out, connecting with someone on a more emotional level, setting, like planting those seeds of intention based upon what it is that inspires you, where it is that you see yourself going, and taking time to like go out in the sun, have more pleasure. And for that, you're going to start to see things kind of change and switch around. Um, the one thing that will help you on Thursday is knowing that you don't know what's going to happen next. Just kind of stay open to this element of surprise. Again, because we do have the element of surprise with Uranus kind of throwing a wrench into things where I'm saying you guys want to stay, you know, flexible and you don't want to force us and fight this. There's a lot of karma. There's a lot of divine timing that is in the works on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. So by being in a space of gratitude and by still cloaking yourself in that light energy that we talked about earlier and the words that you speak and how you speak, make sure that they're positive and that they come from a space of peace and gratitude, it's going to help to draw in energy that feels positive and constructive towards you versus destructive to you. And I'm seeing the energy of the Emperor here in Ace of Cups. So I'm wondering if some of you guys are going to be connecting with someone, a masculine figure that is that you love, or if you're going to be creating with a masculine figure within your life. Now, when I say masculine, it doesn't have to be man. It could be a woman who's in a dominant position or a dominant role. On Friday, and as we move into the weekend, again, the Strength card came in. And this card, <laughs> this is from... Um, vintage wisdom oracle deck but this is again you not forcing things and you not pushing your weight in fact I feel like on Wednesday on Friday I'm sorry there is a little bit of recovery that needs to happen and this is a person and some of us need to go into a space that feels safe, that feels secure, that feels like home. Now, for some of you guys, that is actually you guys going home or spending time with family or parents or whatever. I believe that's an into the weekend, so I think that actually might be because of Mother's Day. Just remember that you're dealing with conflicting energies and conflicting personalities, and just try to stay in a space and cloak yourself again in that light and that love energy. You know, ask your joy angels that bring joy and bring love to come in take a deep breath before you react there's a lot of movement there's a lot of action that's happening here it almost seems like you kind of have to be very flexible and open to it versus you know trying to force and push your way that's always the message of the strength card strength is not in your ability to force others to do what it is that you want to do it's more about you know kind of respect and you know saying like this is what i'm working on this is what i want my vulnerability is my strength i'm gonna be soft with you i'm going to be open with you that way you know what to expect and you can trust me and we can build something upon that so that's how you can not assert yourself but that's how you can help to move things forward in a space that is filled with joy and with love versus there being a reaction there is some type of conflict that 
or conversation or a fight that can pop off on Friday. Again, because the new moon got started this week, no, I technically was last week, but it kind of opens this new door and our, our perspectives kind of shift and change here. So there's new dynamics here. There's new energy that's around you. There's a new mindset that it is that you have and you want to stay open and not, you know, get caught up in the tension, get caught up in the negativity, the, the stress of what can be happening around other people. But again, there's so much space here of joy and love and abundance and making sure that your pleasure is a priority as much as your business is a priority because so much of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was all about work, work, work. And as we move into the weekend, now it's like, let's you know go home, let's reconnect, let's recenter. Let's do things that feel good for us. If it feels like we're being abandoned or if it feels like nothing is taking off, it's not that. It's just this is a time for you to kind of just really hyper focus on yourself right now and pay attention to your passions and pay attention to your creativity. And this is a time for you to kind of see where it is that the universe is kind of flowing you that is connected again to your passion. So there's a lot of joy here and a lot of love. Um, start starting this week but again for some people I do feel like this energy during the weekend that feels a little empty or a little bit of abandonment or you know disappointment in some way shape or form but see it for what it is breathe stay flexible stay open and continue to cloak yourself in love and light and you'll be good so I know that, that video was a lot for you guys but I do have the timestamps down below for you to you know kind of find everything so that you're aware of what's to come and what is going to happen what's going to pop off the planetary major planetary moments that are going to be happening this week i'm going to link, link them down in the description box and then also you can visit my blog bahati life blog so that you can see again you know what i see within the chart and extra guidance that it is that i have make sure that you are following me on twitter and instagram because i'm going to be posting all this week um, messages that I see and things that it is that I feel in order to help you guys to get inspired and to put reminders in so that you're feeling, you know, prosperous and moving forward. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. Please thumbs up or like it or thumbs down it, whatever it is. Um, do you like this format? Do you like the more plan for your week ahead concept that it is that I'm doing for this week? I'm kind of seeing what works for me lately and a part of that is seeing what also works for you guys. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this, even though it's kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.